In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Visual Studio Code, the JDK that we need, and which settings we need to change. If you do a Google search of Visual Studio Code, the first thing that'll pop up will have a download. Within that, you have the option to download to Windows or a Mac. So you're going to go ahead and choose whichever option, and it'll download an executable for you to run. Once it's done downloading, you can go ahead and click on that. You have a window to pop up, make sure like you can read through the agreement or accept the agreement. Then here, you could leave it just like this. So if you've already downloaded, that's totally fine. If you haven't, you can pick register code as an editor for, for supported file types. And then you can also create a desktop icon if you would like one on your desktop. And hit next, and then you'll select install. Mine's already installed, so I'm going to exit out of here. So then if we go to Visual Studio Code, you can either right-click here and you're going to select Run as an Administrator, or you can do the same thing from your Start menu. Go to More, Run as an Administrator. So because I'm on a school device, I'm just going to run it as normal and show you where the settings are through here. So once it's opened up, over on this left-hand panel, there's this like little puzzle piece looking thing that's for extensions. We're going to open that up. Now you should have like nothing installed in here. And so that's where you're going to add what's called the Java extension pack. And it should be the first thing that pops up. You'll have a little download button. Once you select download, um, you'll see a bunch of them will turn blue saying installing. Once that's finished installing, the next thing that you're going to look up is called Code Runner. And you'll do the same thing. You'll click on this, click install in the corner. Once it's finished installing, close out of Visual Studio Code. And then you're going to right click again, run as an administrator. And once you open it, if you click on this extension piece again, you should see all your extensions or under installed. If you open that up, you should have all of these extensions in there for you. Okay, the other thing that we need to do is we're going to change some other settings. So if we go. We want to scroll down until you find Visual Studio Intellect and then click on the little gear at the bottom and extension settings. Then the one that's at the very top, um, completions enabled, that will be checked. So uncheck it. Okay. Then you're going to go to language support for Java. It's the one that looks like a little coffee cup. And go to extension settings. And then the very top one that says Java auto build enabled, that will be checked. So uncheck that one. And then you're going to scroll just a little bit down your screen to where it says Java completions enabled, enabled disable code completion support. So that one will be checked. So make sure that you uncheck that one as well. So then <clears throat> we're going to exit out of here for now. And the next thing we need to do is we need to download a JDK. So if we do a Google search JDK, the first one should pop up, should be the Oracle Technology Network. So we're going to open that. You could download the newest version, but based on our requirements, we're going to Download the 14. It doesn't really matter. So if you want to download 15, you can. Um, so you're going to go to JDK download and then scroll down to where it's um, Windows 64, the executable file, not the zip file. And then you're going to go ahead, review that, and then download that as well. 
If it asks you the file path, I would use the default. If you pick a different file path, then make sure you know where you save it to. So that's why it's easy to use this, the default file path because then I can tell you exactly where it is. So then the last thing in our settings that we need to do is go down to the start menu and start typing environment. And you should get edit the system environment variables. So then we'll go and actually download the code. So I'll do that in a separate video.